we've actually had in the big cities. Um, you've got things like um, seasonal work in hospitality and tourism and things like that. Um, you've also got the option of fruit picking, which you can pretty much do everywhere over Australia. And if you can put up with it for three months, then you can extend your work visa as well, which might be something you're interested in. Um, a really popular option at the moment, which means you can see another side of Australia, um, is woofing, which is willing workers on organic farms. Um, you don't get paid, you get paid in bed and board, um, but it does mean, get, does mean you get to see a completely different side of Australia that you might not see in the cities. Hello, my name is options for New Year in Sydney. Um, on one end of the scale you've got the harbour cruises, um, you get free drinks all night, you're right at the edge um, of all the fireworks. Um, on the other end if you want a free night out you've got Mrs McQuarrie's Point, it's a massive park, free to get into, you do need to get there at lunchtime because it's so popular. Um, but everyone's in a real party party mood, views over the harbour, views of the bridge, you've got the fireworks at midnight. Um, to run to wherever you're going to be it's going to be great. Um, the other thing is if you're going this year you really need to get your accommodation sorted as soon as possible. Um, one thing is if you're going maybe with three or four people, have a look at a more expensive hotel that might have a quad room because per person that might be cheaper than dorm rooms overall. <laughs> Shark cage diving is uh, Port Lincoln, which is about 280 kilometres from Adelaide. Um, it is, you're, you're going to expect to pay about $400 to do this, but that does go towards the research and the protection of this endangered species, so it's definitely going to be worth the money. It's also where Jaws was filmed, so uh, you might recognise a bit of it. Hello. Spuggy and me would like to know what is an anagram of Australia? Um, not many anagrams of Australia. The best I found was Ultra Asia. But I did find online that the Australian singer and actress Kylie Minogue is also an anagram of Great Ass, Dismal Talent, You Shrieking Nuisance. Good day, mate. Uh, I'm George. And I was wondering do I have to pay taxes? I'm afraid you are going to have to pay tax when you're working in Australia, um, but if you earn under the taxable threshold, you can claim the money back when you come to the UK, which is a bit of a bonus. Um, you will get taxed at about 46% until you've got your tax file number, and um, you can organise that before you go. Uh, we, can we can help you do that, and I would recommend it because it's going to save you so much money. Um, we and I would also recommend getting your bank account sorted before you go. It just means that you can put money into savings before you get to Australia, and you can also start work straight away. Um, Culturally, um, yeah, you probably are going to get a bit of stick for being a pom, um, but it's all part of the banter. Give it back as good as you get, um, and they'll love you for it. Um, one thing I would say um, for all tourists, not just because you're English, but um, if you are going to any areas um, with Aborigines, um, a lot of the land is sacred, um, and you really need to respect their beliefs and respect the ideas of the indigenous cultures. <laughs> music in Australia. All the big cities have festivals and even smaller ones in the outback. My personal pl favourite place is St Kilda in Melbourne, right on the seafront. Loads of tiny little venues and um, playing live music, local bands, um, loads to see, really good place, lots of locals and lots of tourists and backpackers. Um, you can also check out australia.com, they've got a great list of kind of free events and things like that. Um, you've also got the kind of free listings magazines, you'll get them in cafes, restaurants, bars all over Australia, so check those. You've got loads of places to go sandboarding in Australia. One of the main places is towards Perth. Um, you've got loads of dunes over there. You've got Moore River, which is about 45 minutes away, but you do need a boat to get there, so you might want to plan ahead. Um, you've also got plenty of dunes around Albany as well. The other side of the coast towards Adelaide, there's loads of places all the way along the coast between Beach Point and Lake George. And you've also got Corong National Park, which has got plenty of places to sandboard, and you can stay overnight. So if you want to do a few-day trip, then that sounds a good place to be.